All the honorable members, all the honorable members, we will now proceed from order number seven to the next order. Order number eight, presidential address to parliament. All the honorable members, Honourable members, please be guided that we are proceeding under standing order number 16. And we will commence as follows. Your Excellency, the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Defence Forces of the Republic of Kenya, the Honourable Mwai Kibaki, on behalf of all Honourable members, welcome Your Excellency the President to the House this afternoon. This day is set to go into the annals of history of our country as of most worthy significance as one on which Your Excellency formally delivered your final address, fully so as a member after 49 years of an interrupted service. It has been a long race, but like in all races, including the ones Kenyans are famous for winning world over, it is not so much you are running Kenyans are famous for winning world over. It is not so much you are running mannerisms that matter. It is how you finish the race. I am persuaded, Your Excellency, and I believe that I speak for all of us. Your finish is splendid, deserving of prime accolades. Your Excellency, as all the honorable members are no doubt aware, your political career started in Makerere University when you became the chairman of the Kenya Students Association and the vice chairman of Makerere Students Guild, yet still attained a first-class honors degree in economics. With your permission, Your Excellency, allow me to cite a few salient features in your illustrious political career and more so as a legislator. In March 1960, you were involved in founding the Kenya, the Kanu Party, and in the month of Order, order, honorable members. Order, honorable members. Order, honorable members. Honorable members, even if I started with Kenya, it would be Kenya African National Union Party. And in the month of December, the same year, Your Excellency, you left your lecturer's job at Makerere University and returned home to be the executive officer of the party. In Kenyan parlance, as a way of underscoring the work the founding membership of the party did, for more than 30 years thereafter, Kanu was Baba na Mama in this. <laughs> Kanu was Baba na Mama in this country's political arena. Your Excellency was first elected to Parliament in 1963 as member of parliament for Donholm constituency, starting a long career here at, that saw you serve as parliamentary secretary to the Minister for Commerce and Industry, Minister for Finance and Economic Planning, 1970 to 78, member for Othaya constituency, 1974 to date, founded DP, the Democratic Party, in 1991, 19, 1978, Vice President of the Republic of Kenya, and to illustrate your checkered political career, leader of the official opposition, and finally, the President of the Republic of Kenya, 
beginning the 30th December year 2002. It is no wonder, Your Excellency, that the World Bank President, Robert McNamara, described Your Excellency thus, and I quote, one of the greatest economic brains to have emerged from Africa, unquote. Your Excellency will allow me to pause so that the member for Kisumu Rural and the Honorable Nanok, the member for Mathila, do not suffer for too long. <laughs> Very well. Your Excellency, there is the addition of the member for Ugenya to the list. Your Excellency led this House from the front to the enactment of the new constitution in the year 2010. In this regard, and generally, I wish to acknowledge and appreciate the unfailing and continued support that I, as the Speaker, and indeed the whole of the National Assembly have received from Your Excellency. The Parliamentary Service Commission, which I'm privileged to chair, has accessed all the requisite funds to carry out all the programs in this institution. It has been a major challenge to prepare for the bicameral parliament, but with your wise counsel and guidance, we will be ready come March 2013. Your Excellency, this really, as a matter of fact, and in fact, is your day. And I do not desire to say any more. But because on an, a, an occasion such as this will not come again in the foreseeable future, allow me to conclude by highlighting the achievements of the 10th Parliament during your tenure, Your Excellency. A, adoption of new standing orders that, among other things, made Parliament more robust in its operations particularly parliamentary committees. B, enacted the Physical Management Act that has seen Parliament take a central role in national budget making in line with the Constitution. C, oversaw the Constitution review process, the passage of the proposed Constitution and now its implementation. And D, oversaw the creation of independent commissions meant to safeguard democracy. E, enacted over 45 statutes intended to implement the new constitution. F, introduced live broadcast by television and radio of parliamentary proceedings in the chamber and in committees beginning from June 2009. G, started a media center within parliamentary premises to enhance interaction with the media and to enhance the access to information in the month of May 2009. And H, set up a parliamentary studies and training center to be a center of excellence in parliamentary training in Kenya and beyond. And in fact, Your Excellency, the first in East and Central Africa. I, rationalized staff establishment encompassing job evaluation and skills audit to ensure that we have the record and finally, revamped the Budget Office, Research Department and Information and Technology Departments. Your Excellency, as members of the 10th Parliament and the entire Parliamentary Service Commission, and indeed I personally, wish to place on record our sincere gratitude to you for all these achievements. Finally, may I, with utmost humility, invite Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces to address this House.